I know a little bit about his story, and I know you guys are going to find it fascinating out there. Ladies and gentlemen, on the line, I have Mr. Isaac Pedroza. What up, Isaac? What up, my bro? Good to talk to you, homeboy. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So before we get started, I want to give everybody an idea, and I want to encourage them to go check out some of his videos that he's ha that he has on uh, on YouTube. He has been on, you know, all the big guys shows. You know, when I say big guys, I mean in the Big Hercs, who I actually had the pleasure of interviewing not too long ago. Um, he's been on Street TV, I do believe, and um, he gets more in depth of how he had to spend five years fighting a murder charge. And what we're going to do on my show today, Isaac, and I hope you're cool with that, is we're going to kind of talk about, you know, your life and growing up and things like that and what actually led up to that. And then I kind of want that to be, you know, the, the, the grand finale and, and, and we could talk about that. Um, yes, but um, so you started gangbanging at nine, correct? Yeah, man. I started uh, nine years old, fourth grade. That's how I remember the age because it was, it, was, it was a grade I was um, in. So if you could point to much. one specific thing you know it could be a bunch of stuff obviously but if it was one specific thing what would you say was the main reason you started gangbanging uh the main reason that i always look back on as i always say is uh a, a, it's the, the the influence i had when i was young uh a specific person actually um i had a, a childhood friend and he was couple years older than me about three years older than me and and he was already hanging around with the neighborhood hanging around with the homies and uh that's how i got connected to the neighborhood um i don't know you know how how my life would have turned out if i never like met him or you know like i would have probably still ended up strained that way but um that's what i always look back on as a person that that influenced me and I think it, it happened like that for a lot of people uh you know that it, it, it all it all depends man is is who you where you hang around who you hang around with and, and that that really affects uh your everyday life man and your future eventually yeah yeah facts on me facts so take me to that day when you got put on when you got jumped in how did how does it work with your hood um well, me, bro, I, I was, I started out young. I started out, you know, mm -hmm. um, really young. So I didn't get jumped in until I was older because that's just how it was, bro, is that, uh, you know, they didn't, I was too young, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Nobody was getting in at that, at that, at that young age at that time. But, uh, you know, so I backed up my neighborhood for about three years. But the day I got jumped in, I always remember it was my it was on my birthday, so I can think back. It was on November twenty seventh, and I believe it was nineteen ninety, and I had just turned twelve years old. And uh, that was the day I got jumped in, uh, Garvey Park. I still remember, you know, it was only a couple of us, and uh, some homies jumped. There was there was so few of us that they jumped in, one homie, and then. That homie and another homie and another homie jumped in another homeboy, and then those two jumped me in. It was crazy because there wasn't <laughs> that many of us, and three of us got jumped in at one time. So uh, that's that's how it went down, man. Uh, during that time, I mean, that's it all. It's different for everybody, man. It, 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 that's how it went down for me. Some people they they've gotten jumped in uh, sooner, you know. Uh, I'm I'm actually glad that it. I kind of had that little foundation up under me before I even got into the hood. But, uh, so it's not like a specific, there's no specific requirement as far as uh, time-wise, but the only requirement is, you know, is that you, you know, you, you're, you're with it, man. You, you're with it. And, uh, you know, we won't get into details and stuff, but that's a requirement, man. It's, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know how it is now, man, but back then, you had to be a, 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 you know, you had to be at least the type of individual where where uh, you're not gonna be afraid to, you know, to 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 make some do some man if 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 you need to, you know. Oh, a colony is coming, but it's from Venus, and if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And 
I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, now I do it enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come my son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a way straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart, I'ma sleep, I'ma fall. But she said she love me, she wanna hug me, and but she starts getting told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay yeah what are the chances you're picking a flight we're leaving tonight pack up your bags we're leaving this place and this baggage because what could we do while Rome is collapsing But not in a day We'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson I'll Pull up the map then Cause I'm through Keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know You only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't Owe nothing to no one Darling just listen It'll be Just like starting over and I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight Baby ignore the rain Everything gonna be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay I don't even know why here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Get kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely my girl is by my side, my gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Killing out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle with a knife, I get the job done Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing in memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride, a mission never denied As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay what years were you most active, would you say? You know, where it was just on and cracking. Man. <laughs> From the late 80s, bro, to the, all the 90s. Okay. All the 90s. Okay. Uh, the early 2000s. Oh. All those years, man. Uh, of course, there was little, you know, certain years. I think maybe the late 80s, early 90s were probably the most hectic. Mm -hmm. uh, but mid-90s were just as crazy, man. And then... The early 2000s, I remember, was really crazy for me, at, at, at least. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because you made it through the 90s, and you're saying the early 2000s was crazy. But you said specifically for you, right? Yeah, specifically for me. I mean, in my life, it's, you know, it's different for everybody, man. Yeah. Some people, it all depends on the individual. Some people, they're not even, I mean, they may not even see it like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It depends who the person is, individual, what, what, what you were doing. 
if you're out there gang banging or if you're just doing drugs, partying or whatever, you know, I mean, it all, it all depends on who you're asking. But for me, uh, you know, th those, those years, man, I mean, predominantly not in, in LA, in the LA area, those years were cracking, bro, everywhere, yeah. every city, yeah, every place, didn't yeah. matter where you were at, man. They don't know how good they have it. We have it in L.A. now, man. We, yeah. You and I, were about real. the same age. We're in our 40s. I'm assuming you're in your 40s. Um, yeah, I'm 41. Yeah. yeah, same, same. Um, so uh, growing up in 91, 92 in L.A., East L.A., where we were, it's it was it was a war zone. That There's no better way to put it. We had upwards of 2,500 murders in L.A. in 1992. Look it up. I'm not making it up. That was the year that it was mm -hmm. at its top. Um, and now we probably have what 400 maybe 500 you know it's nowhere close man. right man dog yeah definitely. And, back, but back, and back then all the murders predominantly bro were, ga were gang related it was gang that's what it, that was gonna be yeah and what. now like a small fraction there's a lot of murders but it doesn't mean all those murders are, are gang, gang related yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah. you gotta put factor that in you know yeah yeah Alonzo um, Alex Alonzo Shout out to him. He breaks it down on his channel on one of his videos where, yeah, not all, just a very small fraction of gang of, of killings in L.A. are gang related. But back then, like you said, it was on and cracking. Um, but I want to take mm -hmm. it to um, to 1998. There was a murder that happened. Uh, talk to me mm -hmm. about the murder and how it led eventually led to you fighting a case for five years. OK, so. uh Obviously, there's, there's, you know, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak on what, just what I know and the facts that are out there, uh, that are uh, uh, public knowledge. Mm -hmm. You can look it up. You know, I mean, anybody can, can type it in. Uh, I'll give you guys all the information after, but, but uh, I'm sure you know it. But just for the people yeah. to know, um, but pretty much, uh, one of my older homeboys got killed in 1998, and this happened in November. Late November, I believe it was the 25th of November, 1998, before uh, Thanksgiving. And and so this murder occurred that day. Uh, and let me see, maybe right around, right around January of 99, two months after, maybe even a month after this, this murder occurred, um, I started hearing on the street that uh, they were looking for me. They they were looking for me for this murder that happened, bro. So I was in my neighborhood. I was fresh out of prison. I had just got out of prison, um, and you know, I, I I was I was I was like the main suspect, and I was like, man, I'm. You know, I, I kind of had a little, like, I'm not going to go nowhere, man. I don't got nothing to hide, this and that. But then another part of me, like, I wanted to leave, too. And I was like, man, I didn't know really what to do. But um, I just stayed in my neighborhood, man. I stayed in my neighborhood, but I was I was on my toes. They were raiding my house. They were uh, hitting different spots. And, and uh, I used to always get away, man. And they used to always tell my homeboys, uh, when we catch them, man, we're going to, you know, we, we got something coming, this and that. So anyhow, they they uh they used to raid my house, man, and they never they never caught me. I always got away. I always had a little secret hide a a getaway to, to get away. But my luck my my look my my luck ran out. I believe somewhere around April, maybe March, April of ninety nine, uh February, maybe somewhere around there. I'm not sure on the date, but this time they raided my pad in the nighttime. They used to usually raid it in the morning. This mm -hmm. time it was in the evening, so they caught me off guard. And, uh, and boom, I got, I got cracked. I got away, but then they busted me behind my house. She don't wanna ride the city bus 
because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth that is a lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw it the other day with the baby Ain't life crazy, I think about it once in a while When it's cloudy outside and the sun goes Men of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we bout to go The road is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control The final destination's bound to captivate your soul And so, many MCs inspired to be One of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC Then the law came life, now the dreams deferred All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur My ponders contemplating the worst Put all the energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah They took me in They never charged me for murder They only charged me for a parole violation and I went through my whole, I, I spent a year in jail and in prison, and they never charged me for murder. But this whole time, I'm thinking they're going to charge me because it was on my paperwork that I was arrested for murder. But they never charged me. It was only on my parole papers. Uh, it's kind of tricky. I mean, only those, those that understand kind of knows what that, know, 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 will know what that means. Because the parole, they can actually charge you with something. And even though you were charged with it uh, uh, officially, they can charge you with it. So I was charged with murder on my parole papers. So anyhow, when, when that happened, uh, you know, normally I was just, I was, I was just like, I had that in the back of, I was, I had that hanging over my head, bro. My whole term, I did a whole year. I ended up in Centinella. I went to Chino, I went to Centinella. And then, uh, I had that, that case hanging over my head and then I got out. They released me. I got out. Boom, never really heard nothing about it ever again, bro, uh, until the year 2008. In 2008, yeah, yeah that's 10 years, bro. Wow, 10 years from, from, from when it happened. I didn't hear nothing about it. Now, let me ask you. And, go ahead. Keep going. Go keep ahead. going. No, you keep going, actually. I want to know. No, well, I mean, I was just going to, I was kind of, lead. I was going to lead into I don't know if you if you want me to lead right yeah, into please. that or well, I was at, I was wondering if it was something you were even thinking of that whole time. Like, did you wake up thinking about it? And, uh, or... I, I 
it, it popped in my head every now and then, okay. but not as much as as during that that whole year when I was yeah. when I was uh. But eventually, I kind of like it wasn't really a factor, mm -hmm. really. Yeah, because well, I had other issues. Year, I, yeah, yeah, I had other. I already had all, you know, what I mean, all kinds of other stuff piled up on top of that. You know, I had, I had, I had uh, other cases. I had gun charges. I had uh, in-house cases. I had uh you know re different relationships i had all you know what i mean just mm -hmm. life bro just different things like in the gangbang life especially yeah uh but yeah bro it was it was it was it was, it was back there somewhere you know it, was, it used to try to come ha haunting you know haunting me in, in uh you know uh and eventually it did bro yeah so 2008 what happened so in 2000 hold on excuse, excuse me real quick what's all good do you think doc I'll sing a little song. So, so what happened was in 2003, I got arrested, bro, for a high speed chase in Alhambra, El Sereno area. Mm -hmm. I jumped on a 710. I got away. Me and my little homie got away. Uh, and then they, were, they, they found us after like an hour, man. Like someone told on us, they found us behind a house, somewhere hiding, but we, we had got away clean, bro. High speed chase and everything, man. And uh, I ended up getting three, uh, uh, 32 months with 80% for mm. that case. I ended up going upstate. I went to Centinella. I ended up catching another case in there. Uh, and so I ended up doing a total of four years, pretty much a little bit over four years. So I got out in 2008, January 1st. I got out from New Corcoran State Prison, which is a level 4, 180 yard um and you know i, I had my point that shot up to the other case i was in the hatch the 180 yard uh i got out and uh, i was out about a month and a half and then on february 14th it's a trip because i got out on a holiday i got busted on a holiday i got busted november 27th which was thanksgiving day mm -hmm. and it just happened to be my birthday that was 2003 yeah. i got busted on a holiday I get out on a holiday, January 1st, 2008, and then I go to see my parole officer uh, February 14th, Valentine's 2008, day. another holiday, <laughs> and I got, and that's the day they questioned me for a murder. No shit. They try to get me to, to turn against one of my older homeboys. They try to turn me, you know, they offered me my freedom. They they did all that, bro. They, 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 they pretty much try to, they try to turn me, they try to get me to cooperate with them, and I, I didn't have nothing for them, bro, and they, they pretty much, I got, you know, they told me stand up, they slapped the cuffs on me, mm. and uh, I spent the next five years in the L.A. County Jail, man, fighting the, the murder case. Damn, dude. I was out of the county. I'm 45 years old. I'm 45 and I'm 31. And I'm fine. And you're yeah. the older generation than me. And I'm right. too. And we've been standing but around as the something. older ones. Taking all this bullshit. Always over for a kumbaya fucking y'all. Come here. Always standing around for a kumbaya y'all. Ain't nobody coming to protect us. We got to start our own fucking life. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keep them people employed who profit when we kill another. Bang, bang. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Bang, bang. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. Gun stores sold out for six weeks. I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks. Black lives matter all the time. Not just when one of them kills one of our kind. Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking when Chicago has 30 murders in one week. Oh, yeah. Just listen, it's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time, movement is all over the world Energy divine, where were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than really departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rallied Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly 
How many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's a lie. I'm trying to get it by enemies that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. The pigmentation of my skin is current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibes, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification does I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me Know what we do, enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way back to my Roots. It's a different time, we ain't going forward You see there's power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change that's coming, you better know I'm in here, I'm angry at 31, you angry at 16 How many have we gonna lose? And this is where I want to encourage everybody to check out the Big Herc uh, prison talk interview specifically because he goes deep into how uh, how he actually, you know, had to go about himself, you know, doing certain shit because the system, as we all know, is pretty shitty and you made it out, man. Um, anybody who knows about anything um, about what he did, it's an amazing story. So I'm going to give a shout out to Big Her because he's a friend of the show and I encourage you guys to check that out. But I want to ask you a specific question. Um, what, explain to me what it's like for an active gang member, specifically yourself, you know, that first day stepping into prison. Yeah, I would have to say, uh, I, 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 I would have to include the LA County Jail as a part of that, that whole, uh, phase, I guess, because when you go in Alley County Jail, uh, I went to Alley County Jail when I was 16 years old. Mm. And when you go through there, especially during that time, which was in the 90s, mid 90s, uh, you know, it was it was pretty, pretty crazy, man, pretty active. It was a lot of stuff. It was like a jungle in that place. Mm -hmm. And so before I got to prison, I was already, uh, you know, whatever you need to pick up, if you go through the Alley County Jail, you're gonna pick it up before you get to that prison, you know. So it all, that's where it all started for me. Is, is I was a young kid, bro. I was 16 years old, and uh, my first time in prison, uh, I was 17 years old. I was still a juvenile. I was under a different name. Um, you know, I was kind of hiding from the system, and I ended up in prison, man. And they didn't even know who I was. I, I was under a different name, and mm -hmm. and. Uh, and that's that was that was my experience, you know. But it was, you know, it was it was. I was already. I guess I'm not gonna. I wasn't as 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 uh, shocked, I guess, or or a, as most people would be mm -hmm. their first time in prison, because I I was already prepared and like kind of refined. I I was already on top of things, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I was already laced up, bro, to the game and and and. So it was it was a little bit different, I think, for me and for a lot of us that that we kind of like we get some schooling and and where you're in the street, you know, of course. But then when you go through the county, you even get more schooling. You start asking questions, and they they tell you find out everything you need to know. That way, when you get there, you're just normal program, man. You you already you already uh you don't need to change nothing, man. Just Business continue being who you are. Yeah, pretty much, you know. Mm -hmm. 
So that that's how it was for me. But I mean, yeah, it was an experience. It, it was, you know, it was it was a trip. Like it wasn't what I expected. It wasn't as bad as I okay. <laughs> as I thought it would be. Um, and actually, it was kind of fun, bro. Back back in those days, it wasn't even a big thing. I didn't even. It wasn't even a big factor, you know. Now it's like. Sh- like man, that's the last thing I would want for anybody, you know. Mm-hmm. But 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 during those th- those days, uh, for me, when you know, being that age and just being that young and just wanting to be a little, you know, be a little 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 Dennis the Menace, uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it was it was it was, it was a whole other trip for me, bro. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes teeth. I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week. I have a friend who's married, but he still be fucking bitches. And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching. I remember, hold up, sorry, I forgot to mention. I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention. To get attention, I would always used to get detention. Getting suspended was my only life's mission. My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life. Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied. Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese. Ignoring texts from my family members every week. I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow get. down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses. We gon' mix it with the little honey jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that. So much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate. Let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to strip them with the words. So let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above. Hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower. Me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Slow down Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor and coherent Sober up, then I do it again Check me out Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play that skin to win this if I was on double bear And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Shit, I want to fast forward a lot. Not maybe not a lot, but um, to a church that has a special place in my heart personally because my stepfather, rest in peace. This church changed his life as well. My stepfather, you know, was living that life as well. You know, the street life, veteranal uh-huh. status, and Victory Outreach came to him, and wow. it changed his life. Literally, it was like night and day. 
And I'm just glad to say, you know, now that he's not around, that I can remember him for his better self than, you know, what he was yeah. before. But yeah, it was it was a trip about how Victory Outreach just had that uh, had that uh, effect on him. And for anyone who doesn't know, it's a church out there that specific. You know, they kind of specifically target the gang, the the gang members, the druggies, the, yeah. the 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 people that the regular churches seem to shun away. But talk to me about your experience with them and how that kind of led to you know where you are now as a free man. Well, um, I I. Uh... I went into Victory Outreach. Um, well, first of all, I'm no longer part of that ministry, but I still love them. I still got a lot of homeboys that, that are part of Victory Outreach. They're my my family, you know, um, and and it's a special place. But I, when I got out of jail, I needed somewhere to go, to pretty much, uh, just I needed to surrender to God. And, and I knew God had a calling upon my life, but I didn't know what to do, where to go. I didn't know nothing. And God, the Lord led me there, bro. He led me to Victory Outreach. Uh, I have an aunt whose husband is a pastor out there in Brawley, California, down, down south at the bottom of California. And that's where I ended up. I went into a men's home. Uh, I stayed there about a year, graduated, went into a second phase, stayed there another half a year. Uh, my wife, she went into a, a Victory Outreach women's home out here in Eagle Rock. Uh, that's where she grew up out there in that area, Glass Hall Park area. And uh, she graduated, and then we moved her out to where I live. We got married. Uh, you know, I had my first son. My son's three years old now. Nice. And, you know, I, I've, I've been living out in the Imperial Valley now. I'm always out in L.A. doing a lot of stuff out here, but... but um, that's where I live is the is El Central California in the Pro Valley, and and uh, you know Victory Outreach has, has played a big role in our lives. Like I said, the Lord kind of moved us on to a different ministry, uh, Christ Community Church, and uh, we love where we're at. You know that's that's where we belong. But but Victory Outreach it definitely is a special place. Like you mentioned, it kind of it doesn't it's not like that as much now as it was back then. Known for or reaching only gang members and, and drug addicts, but uh, it does, you know, that's a big part of it. it it's kind of evolved and kind of, uh, it reaches different, a, di a diverse, you know, diversity of different type of people, man, you know, and, 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 and uh, but yeah, the, 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 the main, the main chunk of people that, that come out through there is usually ex gang members, drug addicts, prostitutes, uh, the worst, man. Pretty much the worst that, that you could find, man. And and uh, and so the Lord has raised up that ministry specifically, and it's a beautiful thing what they're doing, man. Yeah, man. I got one more question for you, and then I want to give you a chance to promote anything you have going on. Um, but my question to you is, if you had a minute to sit down with a nine-year-old Isaac, who is just about to just about to do his thing in the street. You know, he's, he's, he has one foot in, one foot out. If you could sit down and talk to a nine-year-old Isaac right now, what would, you, what would you say to him? I would say to him what, what I say to these youngsters that, that, that I, I speak to now on a, on a normal basis. Um, and I would, I, would just, I would just tell them the truth, bro. I'd tell them the truth of what the, the, the life really is, what the gangbang life really leads to. And I do everything in my power, bro, to steer them clear from any type of involvement with 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 gangs, bro. Mm -hmm. And I, I tell the kids all the time, I tell them this, um, and I mean it, bro. And I always tell them, I'm like, you don't have to be, in order for you to be cool, you don't have to be from the hood. Or you don't have to be a gang member. People will respect you still mm -hmm. as a man. Whether you're from nowhere, and and some people even respect you more because you chose to say, "Nah, man, I'm cool." Mm -hmm. You had the the you you had the the uh at, you at least had the 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 sense to be like, "Nah, man, I don't want to throw my life away," because that's what it is. You're basically throwing your life away. You're you can you can there's a big there's a big percent. Uh, or, or there's a, there's a big, uh, chance that you're going to probably get killed, 
or you're going to just go and do life or go do spend a lot of years in, in jail and you're going to suffer a lot because of it. But, but not only that, not only are you going to suffer, mm. the people that love you are going to suffer. Mm. And if you have kids, if you have mother, if you have sisters, if you have a father, whatever, those people suffer too, man. And it's not worth it. Mm. And so, uh, I would, I would do everything in my power, bro, to, uh, to make sure that I, 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 I get whatever potential Isaac has in him, whatever he was put on this planet for, I would make sure I, I can help him identify what the hell that is and get him the resources he needs and be there for him and encourage him and, 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 and help him get to where he needs to be. Cause I, I never had that bro. Mm. And if I would have had that, who knows, man? I mean, praise the Lord. I'm here now. You know, I'm 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 a, I'm a child of God, bro. I'm saved by the blood of Jesus, and 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 I'm I'm alive, bro. And, and I'm the Lord's using me, bro. He uses me in my neighborhood. He uses mm. me, you know, in my in different in my church and my using ministry. You right wherever now. He, he's using you right now, dog. At this specific yeah, moment. amen, bro, amen. Yeah, he uses me he uses me right now, right now, like you said, bro, in in in, in different ways, and uh, and so praise the Lord for that. But uh. Yeah, man, I, I would have never chose that, bro. Like, I would have never chose to be a gang member. And anybody listening, I hope and pray, man. I really do. I hope I pray for people I don't even know. I pray for kids. I pray for you guys that are listening. Uh, or if you know kids like that, if you're a parent, be there for those kids, man. You need to, you need to, you know, you need to be there for those kids, man. And if you can't be there for them, find someone that can and and pay them if you have to, man. And, 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 and have someone in that child's life to help identify what he's here for. Because there's a plan and a purpose for every single human being on this planet. Even handicapped people, even people that can't talk, there's a purpose for them too, man. Mm. And so that's that's pretty much it, man. Man, I mean, you're giving me chills, homie. That's that's a perfect way to end the show. I always like to end my show on a positive note, man. Um, where can we find you? And, uh, yeah, t plug away, man. Plug away. What do you got going on? Uh, you can find me on either uh, through my website, RighteousByFaith.com. That's RighteousByFaith.com. Pretty simple. Or, or on uh, YouTube, Righteous By Faith. You can just type in Righteous By Faith channel. Boom, it'll pop up. Or on Instagram, uh, iPedroza78. I usually kind of screen the, the people that send me requests because I get a lot of weirdos and stuff. Yeah. And, and, uh, but if you let me know, you know what I mean, you can't come through through a you know dusty vision or or you heard me or whatever, just let me know, boom, and I'll accept, you know, and follow you too, man, and, and we can connect that way. And uh Facebook, uh Isaac Pedroza. Uh, you know, and, and right now I'm you know, I got my hands in a lot of stuff, man. I'm right now I'm gonna go record three songs tomorrow. I've been making music. Nice. Go listen to my first song on my channel, it's called Battle Cry. It's an end time song. It's talking about the end times. It's talking about current events. It's talking about vaccinations. It's talking about a lot of stuff that you don't hear about in the news, man. And and we just we're reporting the stuff that that you ain't gonna hear nowhere else, man. That's that's one of my callings, bro. To sound the trumpet, sound the horn, so that people can wake the hell up, man. Because uh, we're entering a, a time right now that that is uh, unprecedented, bro. This this, this this it's gonna get it's about to get serious, man. And a lot of people ain't ready. Yeah. So I'm, I, I think God is raising up soldiers, man, to, to, to get the people ready, you know? That's what's up. Isaac, it's been a pleasure, man. I hope we can do this again, and I definitely hope we can stay in touch, man. Amen, bro. Anytime. Hit me up, and I'm here. Sounds good, homie. You have a safe night, and I'll be talking to you soon. You too, bro. God bless you guys, you man. You too, homie. Thank Peace, you. man. We are living in the end times. Wake them up, hear my battle cry. We are ready in the end times. Wake them up, hear the battle cry. We are living in the end times. Wake them up, hear my battle cry. We are ready in the end times. Wake them up, hear the battle cry. Unleashing God's word one verse at a time. 
Jesus in the scriptures, that's the fuel for my mind That's the fuel for my spirit, that's the fuel for these lyrics And I scream it from the mountain top so everyone can hear it Don't you all see that we living in the end time? All up in your face, how you missing all these dang signs? I ain't talking gang signs, tap into the gang mind Moon slamming heroin, sniffing on them white lines That's what Jesus came for, he died and resurrected Took your imperfection so that you can be perfected The son of man was tested, the son of God was tempted You ain't got salvation, better put it on your checklist Think you're living good, but boy you living reckless Think your soul is good, cause the cross is on your neck but that's a misconception, only better check this Listen to this battle cry and listen to this message Woo! By the spirit I'm walking, walking, walking Your flesh that be talking, talking, talking Ain't really say nothing, nothing, nothing For my Lord I be coming, coming, coming Cause who gonna run it, run it, run it My Lord gonna run it, run it, run it I keep it 100, 100, 100. My Lord gonna run it In the blink of a night, I'll believe us up your rapture, rapture don't get left behind With the mark of the beast But no peace and be captured Great tribulation Don't believe we're gonna fly Wake up from your slumber That's the battle cry That's the battle cry When the horns and the trumpet sound I'll be gonna run it That's the battle cry That's the battle cry Prophecies unfolding right before our very eyes No, I don't trust the government Satan's in disguise I, I don't trust the media All they feeding me is lies Look, Looking all around me Everybody's in the time Am I the only one awake? Am I the only one alive? Will they take the vaccination? Do they think they will survive? Won't you think about it, brother? Won't you think about it, sister? Won't you think about it, cousin? Won't you think about it, mister? Life is too short And eternity's forever I do this cause I love you I ain't trying to sound clever Jesus and the gospel's All I want you to remember Every time I speak From January to December What you gonna say When you stand before the throne? Standing all alone, yeah, and everybody gone Pay attention when I say this is more than just a song I put the truth inside a clip and then I blast it when you don't Blink of an eye, I believe us up your rapture Don't get left behind The mark of the beast, but no peace and be captured Great tribulation Don't believe we're gonna fly, wake up from your slumber That's the battle cry, that's the battle cry When the horns and the trumpet sound, I'll be gonna run it That's the battle cry, that's the battle cry By the spirit I'm walking, walking your flesh that be talking, talking, talking Ain't really say nothing, nothing, nothing For my Lord that be coming, coming, coming Cause who gonna run it, run it, run it My Lord gonna run it, run it, run it I keep it 100, 100 in the blinking of a night, all believers will be raptured Don't get left behind, get the mark and get captured No more eating out, all the party and laughter Is going out the window cause we in the final chapter Just look how they got us quarantine coronavirus Politicians don't care, just puppets and to divide us This was a setup to prepare us for what is coming The devil in the flesh with the Luciferian government Controlling through tyranny, futuristic technology Invading biology, inspired by demonology The only hope we got in this world is the blood of Christ The only thing that matters in the end is eternal life Where you gonna spend it, homie? Where you gonna spend it, bro? Where you gonna live forever? Where's you gonna send your soul? He's the one that's in control when you live and when you go. If you wanna make it in, he's the one you got to know. Show. For the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with the words.